The curtain is going up tonight on what could be quite a show. A meteor shower has a lot of people ready to scan the skies. The Nationals science correspondent Bob McDonald's one of them and he's here with us. What's so special about this meteor shower? Well, Wendy, uh, the scientists are excited about this one because we've never seen it before. The comet that's responsible for it was only discovered a few years ago, and we don't know how active this comet is. A meteor shower happens when the Earth passes through the tail of a comet, and if this comet has been really active and it's been spewing out a lot of dust and dirt, we'll get a really great show. But if it's been kind of quiet, then maybe it'll be a dud. I'm not going to make any predictions because it could go either way. We also have a great night tonight because... It's visible all over North America, and there's no moon. So if it is a show, it'll be a good one. So the, the comet responsible for all of this is coming very close to Earth. Is there any danger from debris or anything? Uh, not really. The comet itself is uh, still several million kilometers away from us, and the debris that comes off a comet is all pretty small stuff. It's the size of grains of sand, pebbles, maybe something the size of your fist, and all of that stuff burns up very high in the atmosphere, like 50, 60 kilometers up. There's always a chance a bigger piece did come off, but I, even if it did, it would just give us a much brighter show. I doubt it would do any damage on the ground. Well, I hope you're right. Uh, before <laughs> you go, I want to get you on one more science story, and it's about a Canadian robot that's making history. Yes, uh, Canada Arm on the International Space Station is going to do some repair on itself using Dextra. Dexter is a big hand that was made for Canada Arm. It's also Canadian technology, and it's outfitted with tools and grippers and all kinds of things, and it's going to repair two cameras that are on the Canada Arm. This is the first time it's been done entirely robotically. Usually it's been done by astronauts, and they're hoping that in the future this will be the way to go. So yay Canada and space once again. Just our technology. <laughs> Yay, Canada. Thanks, Bob. Okay, Wendy. Bob McDonald joining us tonight from Victoria.